Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. This YouTube channel covers things to do with Jerusalem and Israel, usually from a political news standpoint, except when uh, technology is involved. So I'm making another exception because this is a tech topic. I want to do a quick how-to today showing people how to uh, change the DNS servers on their internet connection if they're using Bezek for connectivity. So I've done a video before about how to get into your Bezek router. Um, a couple of steps are required, but if you can get into the back end this way, you're going to have a lot more functionality than managing it through the B app. You might need to turn off a couple of settings in the B app to get here. Uh, but basically you want to look at your Bezik router and on the underside you'll find a sticker and that's going to have the local IP address as well as the serial number. And you're going to need both of those credentials to get in. The IP address you're going to type up <clears throat> in the address bar of your web browser. And then the last six digits of the uh, serial number, you're going to also enter those uh, where you're prompted to. So I've entered my serial number, the last six digits as it says, and when I click on Knisa, I'm going to be able to log in to the management portal of the Bezek router. The first page isn't gonna have any real information that we're gonna need. It's basically the username and password for you to connect to the uh, Bezic network as well as your uh, wide IP and there's two settings in on the right here one is uh, so this is uh, if the settings for your wireless network the internet is already what we're looking at and then there is which means advanced settings so we're going to want to click on the advanced settings button in order to change the uh, DNS that the router is using for DNS queries when you're trying to find uh, internet domains. So that you're gonna need to enter a uh, CAPTCHA in order to get to this part of the router as just as a form of additional security. So enter the CAPTCHA and then click on KNISA LA HADREGOT MIT KADMOT. Now everything kind of shifts over to the uh, left and you're gonna get a bunch of information about the router itself that might be useful. And the interface changes into English for some reason. Um, so the DNS is located under advanced setup, so click on that, uh, then click on DNS. And by default, your uh, router is going to take the DNS servers that are associated with one of the WAN interfaces that is connected with. So by default, these guys are gonna be, the right column is gonna be on the left column, either one of the WAN interfaces or all three. But just below that, you've got a box that says, use the following static DNS IP addresses. And that's what you want to uh, go for. Now, I currently only have the IPv4 addresses here, but if you want to use static IPv6, uh, you can also get those from OpenDNS. So I'm just going to put in here the two uh, static IPv4 servers from OpenDNS, which are as follows, 208.67.222.222, 208.67.220.222. Um, and you can, of course, use another third party DNS server like uh, Google DNS as well. As I mentioned, we can also add the open DNS IPv6 servers. And I've just copied and pasted those into my um, notepad here. And as you can see, they're a different format than IPv4 IP addresses, which are separated by a single dot. These ones have colons. Uh, but there is a place to put these again, where we have open IPv6 DNS um, from a WAN interface and it's the portal saying choose one PPP2 or um, this one. Click into the static one. I'm going to pop in the first IPv6 server from OpenDNS here, the second one here. And when we're happy with our changes, we can click apply slash save and it's going to uh, it's going to make those changes. Now everything connected to the router, including switches, and uh, even access points are going to be inheriting uh, the DNS settings from the modem router, the Bezek. So you're going to be getting, you should be seeing open DNS across your uh, network now for your DNS. And if you want to check it, you can, of course, go on to um, open DNS test. And there is a, which will display, oops, if you're not using open DNS. And if you are using open DNS, uh, you'll get this uh, tick mark and it'll confirm that you're using OpenDNS. And you can also use this for uh, filtering um, if that's something you want to do on your home connection as well. Hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching. More videos coming soon.